I'm going to start with the saga of the box. Okay? I was in Atlanta all week, and I flew in, and I landed at um, 4 o'clock in Portland. I drove home, and I was thinking this package would be here. I looked around the house. Mrs. Coot was working. I couldn't find the package. So I decided, okay, I'll h jump on the internet and find out where this is. Internet connection was on this computer wasn't on. So I tracked that down, fixed that, found out, oh, it was delivered today at the post office. I have a post office box. So I need to run down and get the package. Okay? But I need my keys, the house keys, which I didn't take with me. I hung them up because I didn't, wasn't going to need them in Atlanta. And so I looked. They were gone. What? So I'm, I'm searching all around. Couldn't find anything. I start looking through coat pockets. I look through my old coat pockets. I look through a, my wife's dress pocket, coat pockets. And then I'm... I'm starting to frustrate, get frustrated, and I see her blue jacket, her heavy blue jacket, and I went through this, I found the keys. I was, oh, thank God, I found the keys finally. So I jump in the, the car and drive down to the post office. Well, by now, it's quarter to five. Luckily, the post office is only three miles down the road. But it's rush hour. And downtown is a parking lot. So it took me 10 minutes to get there. So it's 5 minutes to 5. Get into the post office. Check my box. And there's no key for a package drop. Or there's no yellow slip that says, hey, you got to pick up a thing. And I'm going, but I checked. And... Newegg said it was ready to pick up at 9.30. So I rush over to the counter and smile and say, uh, do I have a package? Because I'm supposed to and I didn't see anything. She goes, oh, that's strange. I'll go look. She goes, look. Finally, I got the package. So this is the package from Newegg. You guys probably know what's in it. So... We'll open it up and take a look. Yeah, the moment you've all been waiting for. Woo! What's in the box from New Egg? Okay. First, we have High Performance Memory Kit from G-Skill, DDR4-2400, CL-1515-1535. Okay, we've got advertisement, packing list, H&R block ad, more stuff, and then we've got what we've been waiting for. There it is. Oops, don't want to hide the name there. ASRock AB350M. Pro, the B350 board, and it is a micro ATX. We got here. Here we go. Dual M.2 for SSD. USB Type C. Triple monitor. ELNA audio caps. 
DigiPower for smooth and efficient CPU V-Core voltage. Okay, there's the specs here. CPU supports AMD socket AM4 A series APUs, Bristol Ridge, Bristol Ridge, and Ryzen CPUs, Summit Ridge. AMD Promontory B350. Four DIMMs up to DDR4 3200. Uh, and only DDR4, it says only 2400 megahertz for the A series APUs, but we don't have an A series APU. Expansion slot one PCIe 3.0 16, one PCIe 2.0 16, Ooh. one PCIe 2.0. AMD Crossfire X, integrated AMD. R series graphics in A series APUs, but we're gonna have Vega. One HDMI, one DVI, D, one DV, D sub. Four SATA threes, one Ultra M.2, PCIe generation three times four. One M.2 SATA three. RAID. And USBs, we got seven USB 3.0s, one Type C, two front, four rear, six USB 2.0s, four front, two rear. Audio, 7.1 channel HD audio. And it's the AC, ALC 892 chip, or audio codecs. And do the good caps. And uh, Realtek Gigabyte LAN, and it is a micro ATX. Okay, enough farting around. Let's open the damn thing. Okay, so we've got the usual installing memory modules. We have the obligatory manual with CD-ROM IO shield SATA 3 the very important screws for your M.2's and last but not least, the board. Ooh. That's some serious heat sinks there. So there's your AM4 slot, your four memory slots. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, six by three. Two PCIe slots. And uh, so much for that. Now we want to look at DVID, D, HDMI, C, audio, out, USB 2s. Nothing hidden on the back. All right. So right now my thoughts for this, I can't be the final 
thoughts because I haven't fired this sucker up yet. I'm still waiting for my R5 2400G, which doesn't go on sale until Monday. And I'm going to try to finagle and do whatever I can, but don't hold my breath. I think this board is going to work good. It's a little, it's the pro version. It has two extra dim slots. It's got an extra M.2 slot. It's got um, a little bit better everything. Not great, but it's an upgrade over the non-pro. And you have to decide whether it's going to be worth the $20 difference. I don't even, you have 20, 15, 20 bucks difference between this and the non-pro version. So, um, this is your crazy old coot wishing you a good evening.